What's up everybody, welcome back to Patio. My name's Jake, you're watching Rum and Cook. Today on the channel, we're looking at this guy. We've got the Loof Lighter X. This guy is something that I saw maybe a couple years ago on YouTube. I uh, saw the pro tapes of it when they were talking about it and I was like, man, like that, that seems pretty cool to me. Uh, not only because I'm a gadget guy, uh, but I'm always looking for ways to kind of start my Komodo Komodo uh, quicker, right? You know, lots of people ask me, hey, you know, why do you have so many grills? Well, you know, it gives me some flexibility and some, and some different cooking techniques I can use. But, you know, during the week, I don't use my Komodo Komodo. It's just too much to start up and get going and then it takes a little while to cool down. I don't get home from work until 6.30. I live in a suit all day. Um, so I like to be able to turn on the pellet grill, set the temperature, go upstairs, take off my suit, get changed, pour myself a rum and coke and just let it get started. So it, it's a lot less work. You know, on the, the natural gas one, I'm cooking wings or burgers, rotisserie, sausages, you know, stuff that's easy to do during the week and especially during the winter, it gets up to temperature really quick. Um, so I can knock out things that way. But my Komodo Komodo is my go-to on the weekend when I've got time to prep it and uh, cook on it. I mean, it cooks amazing food and just the versatility of it from a hot smoke, cold smoke, an oven, a grill, a uh, pizza oven. I mean, it can just do everything for me. And it turns out some phenomenal food. So, you know, the weekends is my go-to, but I'm hoping having something like this, maybe I'll break it out during the week a little bit more often. Uh, but I'm excited to look at it. Now, this guy is what they call a Gen 2. Um, so I had the first one in September and uh, maybe it was October. Um, I used it a few times, had a couple issues with it. Uh, it really, it looked like electronics uh, just were not quite working properly. It would turn on and turn off sometimes. Uh, and, you know, I talked to them about it. And although I did use it maybe five times to get some, th some things started, including my fire bit, uh, but I just, uh, you know, it, it was clear that there was, I had a defective unit. So I talked to them and they said, hey, you know, we'll, we'll replace it, no problem. But we do have a Gen 2 coming out. Maybe you want to wait from that. Uh, the only problem was is that I had to wait six months for it and just due to COVID and things that were going on. So I was like, you know what? It's fine. I'll wait for Gen 2. And here we are. Uh, so I just took the lid off of it. We've got a you know quick warning about not leaving it unattended while it's going. A quick start guide, a full owner's manual, and then it looks like some pr product guide, right? So stuff that we don't need to look at right now. Uh, I did pull this guy out just to get it charged uh, so I could use it right away, but other than that, I haven't played with it. So we've got the unit itself. All right, here's what we look like. Got a couple different buttons. Underneath here, there's a power button up top. This is your button to start it, uh, to get it going up to temperature. And when you use this button, it'll start at a very low fan speed and you touch it to the charcoal and then as the tip gets hot and the charcoal gets hot, it will increase fan speed. And then here you've got a blower mode where you can just, uh, if you just want to stoke the fire, um, you can hit this and it'll turn the fan on high and that'll just help you get it started quicker. I think, yeah. All right, so it's got a metal sheath on it here. I want to say that they changed this as well in Gen 2. I'm not sure what they changed about it, um, but I, I, I seem to recall that that was something that was changed. We've got our battery here. Now the battery is supposed to last up to 10 usage. So we'll try that. You know, I'm gonna show you how this thing works. We're gonna do a startup and then I'll do a review video down the road. But essentially you've got a button here. It's got a little, uh, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that, but this guy moves up and down here and it hooks on this key. Get her locked into place. Um, right here we've got a charge indicator, so when I hit that button, we're all lit up, all four bars, so we know it's fully charged. Um, I did this, uh, I think it takes two or three hours to charge, honestly, I didn't look it up. Uh, I just kind of charged it last week and it's been sitting there waiting for me to do it. The charger itself looks like that. And really you can just put it wherever, wherever you want. You don't have to have the top on, you know, you can take this, this off and just charge the battery if you want. Uh, but I charged the whole thing the way it was. And then 
it has a cord here that you can pull out and uh, plug in. So pretty easy to use. Before we put it on some charcoal, let's give you a kind of a quick thing here. We've got an on and off button, which will push and hold for three button, three seconds underneath. Now all of our lights are white. And if I was to start it right now, I would hit this button here and you can hear it go up the temperature. It's also red and almost instantly we've got some heat. And if I need to use the blower, blowing a fair amount of air there, but that's not too bad. I mean, that's, that's all there is to it. It's pretty simple to use. Um, let's see how it starts. Now, as you can see here, we've got a full bed of charcoal. Now, what I'm gonna be doing is today is I'm gonna be cooking a couple different things, but first I'm gonna smoke some chicken and I'm only gonna want you know this part cold. So what I've done here is I've got some smaller pieces here. The one thing they tell you is don't you know, use it on a, a huge piece, it'll get started, but it works a lot better if you can find some smaller pieces. I happen to be near the end of a bag. Uh, as you can tell, that bag was probably dropped a few times, probably mostly by me. Uh, but as it happens, I've got some smaller pieces down here. So those are gonna be easy to start. I'm gonna open up my vent below. We're going to turn our guy back on until we get our white light. And now what you wanna do here is we wanna touch this end to our charcoal. I've already heard a couple of little crackles there. I can smell it. And today we're using Fogo charcoal, premium lump. And now everything's going, so we can move it away. I actually held it a, a little too long. That's really all about I need. So we're gonna turn it off. Now the one thing about Fogo is it does like to spark a lot more than other charcoals. Um, but I'm gonna be making pizza later and I like that it's a nice clean flavor to it. So sometimes you gotta deal, <clears throat> excuse me, sometimes you gotta deal with the, uh, the spark in a little bit. Now if you wanted to, let's say you didn't have it going enough, we just turn it on and now we can put it on high right away. So we've got a good amount going. 
Now here's what I like about this. I'm gonna let this guy get warm. We're gonna let our grill get up to 250. I'm gonna smoke some chicken. And then what I'm gonna do, uh, because I'm gonna be making a calzone, is I'm gonna now start up over here and then let it spread because we're gonna be doing a high temp cook down the road. But that got us started. Uh, I'll look at the time clock to see how long it was, but it's supposed to be about a minute or so. And you know, we've got a good bed of charcoal started. Well, that was super simple. Let's give this a close. Open up my top vent. I've got the, the big vent open uh, all the way, but we're gonna dial it in and uh, get ready to do some chicken. Initial impressions, number one, I should tell you, this is not sponsored. I paid 100% for this, so, uh, you know, there's uh, no bias here. This is just my initial first impression. So far, so good. Uh, I am going to play with this a lot over the next few months and then do a full review on it and let you know my impressions. But, you know, right away, um, this lit quicker than the Generation 1 did, and, uh, you know, I can hear the charcoal start to crack a little bit pretty quickly. Um, I, I want to say that the the fan took a little longer in, in the slow mode, so maybe to drive some extra heat in there before it, it, it revved up, um, which is good. I mean, it started, it started pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. Now, Fogo is known, their charcoal uh, is great charcoal, but it does spark. Um, I, since I always use the starter cubes, I've never really noticed it that much. I, you know, obviously I've heard it spark and things like that, but until you're blowing on it with something like this uh, or a torch or anything, you really don't notice it as much. Now, James from Smoking Dad Barbecue, he's done some interesting experiments with charcoal and shared some feedback. If you're not aware of his channel, uh, he's a Komodo Joe guy. Um, so we share that. Uh, I came from the Komodo Joe world before I got my Komodo Komodo. And, uh, you know, he does some great experiments. So I recommend you check out his channel right now. He's been playing with the uh, Komodo Joe pellet grill um, and their, their charcoal grill, right? Competitors to the Weber, Weber kettle grill and the Yoder. Uh, I've definitely got some opinions on that and I will be doing a dedicated video on the uh, Komodo Joe pellet grill versus the Yoder and uh, Traeger because I obviously have some experience with that. I owned one of those before. Uh, so if you're interested in that, don't forget to subscribe. Um, but thanks as always for watching. Uh, we'll be doing more videos soon. I'm getting ready to do some smoked chicken because I'm going to show you how to do some smoked chicken nachos. Could it be any better? Anyhow, so far it looks so good. It's only the first start with it. I'll keep you posted. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. I'll see you soon.